You got a pretty team here, Alice. Yeah, we're just here to play a poppy. Oh my God, the L word girls on the court. It took two days to shoot, and we got real basketball players to come in and be part of Poppy's team because they're supposed to be undefeated. And we're the lamest Hollywood girls that come in and don't know what we're doing, clearly. The girls on the other team are incredible. They could, you know, have the ball, you know, run up and down their body. One of the, you know what that is, where loop dealers on your arm. I don't know. Okay, you can take that out. <laughs> Leading up to it was even more fun because, of course, none of our cast really plays basketball. About a month and a half before we shot the scene, they kept scheduling these like serious basketball practices. Every cast member had a very important reason why they didn't need to go to the basketball practice. Doctor's appointments, working far too late. They were apparently already professional basketball players. We had lots of lessons. I kept saying, why am I having lessons? I'm supposed to be bad. We did have this hilarious meeting with the coach. Give us a progress report. You know, who can do what? Tell us what Poppy can do. I am probably the least athletic person you have ever met. Well, she can dribble. Okay, well, will she be able to, like, dunk the ball? No, she can dribble. Let's play. That was my first day of working with everybody, and I really got to see this cast exhibit this kind of, like, true understanding of who their characters were. We're losing! What? What? You're scaring me. Fall in. Oh. That individuality is, is something that you should hold on to. They just spoke in their characters. What you doing, Rodeo Drive? Shopping, bitch. We just improvised the hell out of it. But I will still kick your micro ass. Yeah, okay, Dad. I figured, you know, call her pops and call her dad. You gotta throw something back at her. It was like 8.30 in the morning. Alicia and Kate picked me up and we drove together. We stopped at a coffee shop and then came there and we were so like lethargic and I forgot that I was holding coffee while the practice started. And the director said, Mia, can you put your coffee cup down, please? And I was like, wait a second. Jenny would actually hold coffee during the game because she doesn't give a shit about this match. <laughs> That's where the coffee cup came from. I told you not to pass it to me. How funny is Leisha? Hands up! Oh. 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 It kind of happened in the first take, and then I and then I liked it. Where you get so excited about what's happening, you scream. So a scream came out of me, and then I just kind of ran with it. That was the day I almost killed Leisha too. She came running at me and wanted me to, you know, do one of those things where you catch the person. She came running at me full speed, and she threw herself on me. And she wrapped her legs around me. I'm like, holy smoke, she's too heavy. I can't hold her. And we both went toppling over. I think I was just a very overexcited player. I really wanted to, to win the game. In your face, Poppy! Oh. Helena, played by Rachel. Now, here's an English girl. All she does is yoga, right? She ain't been a, on a basketball court. I don't think she's seen a basketball game. The shot over my head? Oh, God, yes. That was such a priceless moment. Her back's to the backboard. She throws the ball overhead. It goes in right on camera. Obviously, I just went ballistic. I was like, ah! And the reaction around, like, with all of the cast was 100% real. I'm a hustle that girl. We're going to hit every court because this girl's been playing ball and she's not telling us. Watch an all-new season of The L Word on Showtime or anytime on Showtime On Demand.